Hello everyone. Welcome to revision lesson. Here is your starter. What are the features of a play script? Recall all the features of a play script. Yes, title, character, stage direction, dialogues, colon, etc. LFQ, how do I plan a play script effectively? So keeping all the features in mind, you are going to plan a play script effectively. Here you can see the features of a play script. Such as title, colon, dialogues, stage direction, characters, etc. Here the title is Cinderella. Colon, you can find a colon in between the character and the dialogues. The dialogues are Cinderella come here, Cinderella sweep the floor. The characters are stepmother, stepsister 1, 2 and Cinderella. It is important to say the dialogues, it is a speech between the characters. The characters' names are on the left-hand side of the page and there will be no speech marks. It will be separated by a colon. Stage direction gives direction to the actors. It gives the information about the scenes. They tells what the actor should do in that particular scene. Normally presented in italics. Here you can find the format to be used while planning a play script. Where is my scene set? What is the scene title? The characters. What happens in the scene? Important dialogues. What are the props used in the play script? How do the character feel? And the beginning, middle and the end. Here you can find the title Cinderella. So my scene title will be Cinderella. Where is my scene set? The scene is setting in the house. You can find the house here. So the scene is setting in the house. Characters in the scene are stepmother, stepsister 1 and 2 and Cinderella. What happens in the scene? In the scene, Cinderella lives in a house with a stepmother and her two stepsisters. She is cleaning the house and stepmother and sisters are giving the list of works that she has to complete. What are the dialogues? Here the dialogues you can see, Cinderella wash the dishes, come here, sweep the floor. Props. Props means the things that used in the play script. What are the things that used? You can find the cloth over here or a mop. Then a given list of work, a paper. So the props can be the cloth, the mop or the given list. How do my characters feel? Character feel tired and sad. You can find the stage direction here. So the character feels so tired and sad and then saying the dialogue, I'll do everything. Then find the beginning, middle and the end. In the beginning of the play script, we see that the Cinderella cleaning the house. She lives in a house with two uh, sisters and stepmother. And we saw that stepmother is not good. What is a middle, middle of the story that they are giving so many work to Cinderella to clean? Then towards the end of the play script, Cinderella is tired and sad and telling that I'll do everything. So try to plan a play script with all the features. Now revision PPT 2. Punctuation mark. How do I punctuate direct speech effectively? Here you can find the dialogues. What is your name? How old is your mother? The policeman said to the boy. Here you can find the speech marks in inverted commas. What is direct speech? It is writing down or reporting the actual words that were said by the speaker. 
So the dialogues are the actual words said by the speaker. Here you can find the dialogue. I'm looking forward to playing football on Saturday. What time does the train arrive? When can we have dinner? Why are you so late? These are the dialogues. So in between the dialogues, you can put, you can place inverted commas around the words which are spoken. That is a rule one. Second rule, use capital letter at the start of a speech sentence. Here you can find the capital letter. Then third point, before you close your inverted commas, use a comma or a question mark or exclamation mark to separate what was said from the speaker. If the sentence is in question form, put a question mark. And then close the inverted comma. Don't forget to put the speech marks for the direct speech. Remember, in a play script, we are writing the dialogues without the speech marks. But in direct speech, as it is a report of an exact word said by the speaker, we are using the speech marks. Example, she said, I'm watching a movie. Put a comma and then begin with the inverted commas. Put a full stop towards the end and then close the inverted commas. Here you can find the direct speech. He said, let's go to the cinema. We write a comma before the direct speech. We write the exact words inside the inverted commas. This is the dialogue. Let's go to the cinema. The first letter is a capital letter. So before you start writing the dialogue, start with the capital letter. We write a full stop towards the end before the closing inverted commas. Put a full stop and then close it. Hope it's clear for you now. These are the examples of direct speech. The exhibition finished last week. Today's lesson is on presentation. Why are you studying English? These are the dialogues. In this, you can find the dialogues in the inverted commas. Inverted commas are placed in the dialogues. Read all the examples of direct speech. Try this. What do you mean by direct speech? Write in your notebook. What do you mean by it? What are some of the rules for punctuating direct speech? And write any two examples of direct speech. After that, punctuate the sentence correctly. This you have to punctuate in your notebook. Alia said, I got a laptop on my birthday. So first one I'll do for you. Alia said, put a comma. After Alia said, then begin the sentence with a capital letter. It's already in the capital letter. So place inverted comma before that. And then put full stop. Close the inverted comma. So this is the way to place inverted comma. Comma. Alia said, I got a laptop on my birthday. That is a dialogue. So put a comma, start placing the inverted commas before the dialogue, then write the capital letter. After that, close it towards the end, place the inverted commas. Now try to do other questions. Here is your plenary. Type and for joinmyquiz.com. Open join a game quiz and enter the game code. Enter the revision quiz code. Okay. Hope it's clear for you now. Revise well and try the questions which I had given you in this revision video. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye.